What is up guys, welcome to Hero Base, a place where we talk about bass, bass gear and music related topics. My name is Norb, here with Stanley. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video we're going to be talking about intervals and what are, what are intervals. It's pretty much the distance of one note to the next note. And what do I mean from that? I'm going to give you guys the exercise I use most to practice my intervals. But it's an exercise I learned back in college. Uh, every time I needed to learn my intervals, I parted from working on the major scale and so on and so forth. So uh, let's grab a bass. Here with Minty. Let's see, this is how I practice intervals. I take a major scale. And once the major scale, we, we already know it, have any questions about a major scale or minor scale or uh, pentatonic scales for that matter, check out these videos up in the cards above or in the descriptions below. We're going to be naming there um, the videos we have uh, for scales. Once we talk about the major scale, uh, and this is where I refer as um, the intervals inside a major scale. So here we go. Here we have our major scale. And now we're gonna take again, give each note a number. So our C is gonna be one, our D two, E is gonna be three, F is gonna be four, G is gonna be five, A is gonna be six, B is gonna be seven, and C is one or the octave, however you desire to call it. With that knowledge already in our heads, um, let's depart for that. So if I wanted a second interval, is pretty much the distance of the first note to the second note. So, okay. If I wanted a third, and a major third interval, is this one right here. One, two, we skip the two and we play a three. One, three, right? Okay. And the fourth interval is pretty much bass-wise the note above the note we're currently playing. Then a string above the note that's under it, right? Perfect fifth. Major six, right? Major seventh, and the octave. So this is pretty much the exercise. Uh, what I want you guys to do is think about the intervals we're playing. So we're playing a major second, playing a major third, perfect fourth. And that's what I want you guys to go around with. We can also take all this stuff and we can also play it with a minor scale. And I'm going to use the same scale. So it's... Okay, this is a minor natural scale. You can play with any of the other minor scales like in this video. So with that being said, we have here a major second again, to a minor third, to a perfect fourth, to a perfect fifth, to a minor sixth, to a minor seventh, to a octave, okay? To your octave, okay? So that's pretty much the same exercise with a minor scale sounds something like this. But then again, you can do this for pretty much any other skill in the world. And that's how I practice my intervals. And what I do is I think I play the interval and I think about it and I try to understand how the distance um, from one note to another uh, feels like or what it sounds like or, or what type of sounds am I getting? Am I getting a sad or am I getting a happy sound if you want to call it like that? Um, like some of my students like to refer to majors and minor um, intervals like that. That sounds kind of happy. Well, it should be a major. That sounds kind of a sad vibe. Um, okay, that's a minor interval. So guys, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check us out on our other social media places where you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And guys, I will see you all in the next one.